This video is sponsored by Kershaw, Next Level Pocket Knives. Use discount code 20archery23 for 20% off at kershawknives.com. Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas and a little while ago I was talking with Evan from Hoyt Archery uh, about which of the new 2024 bows I should shoot this year. We ended up settling on the Alpha X33 uh, and so he told me to go to the Hoyt Bow Builder website, which I did and I kind of recorded my progress here and uh, I chose um, to have the bourbon riser and the bourbon limbs. If you know anything about me, uh, I'm not a man of many vices, but I do like a good whiskey and I'm a big bourbon fan. So I had to, had to go double up on the bourbon with the limbs and the riser. Uh, you're able to choose your string color. I chose orange. Um, I chose the um, uh, stable, uh, two inch stabilizer, like the stubby stabilizer up front. And I ordered the bow sticks as well. I did not bring those with me tonight, but I will do a separate video on those in the coming weeks. And then it all ended up arriving just uh, just recently. So I figure we'll pull it all out, have a quick look at the bow here, uh, and I am gonna go and set this up tonight. I'm gonna get it, do a quick tune on it, and I'm gonna run it through the chronograph, and we'll come back shortly with, uh, with my findings for everything. For those who don't know, this bow has an axle to axle length of 33 and 5 16 inches, a brace height of six and three eighths inches uh, and an IBO rated speed of 334 feet per second. We'll see exactly how close I can come to that. Uh, in my settings, I'm gonna run a 350 grain arrow through the chronograph with this bow uh, and just see how close we are to the speed. And so right now I'm gonna go and get to work and putting this Alpha X33 together. All right, guys, I have got the bow set up and ready to shoot. I've got on it a black gold sight using the Picatinny rail mount, a QAD arrow rest, in the integrate rest system and a hamsky raptor peep this bow was a treat and a simple simple thing to set up uh, i ran the arrow dead level through the burger hole um, and i thought i might have a little fletching issues with the cables here but they had you know at least going through paper i was looking at no contact whatsoever i was getting bullet holes straight away i actually got my bullet holes without any adjustments besides how i eyeballed it um, you know i made some grip pressure changes and that obviously makes a big difference for me probably you as well. Uh, so I got exactly what I needed without having to mess around. The star of this bow, I got to tell you, is the draw cycle. Now I'm going to go run you through that in a video I shot just a few moments ago. This is a fantastic bow to draw. I've shot this, you know, 25, 30 times so far tonight, and it is a treat to pull back. So keep in mind, I've got this at 70 pounds, 30 inch draw, and then I'm in the 75 let off mod. So that is the most aggressive it is, and it does not feel aggressive at all it is dead smooth to draw it's a little at 75 is a, maybe a touch more jumpy on the wall than at 80 which i normally like to shoot it but it is not overly aggressive especially for 70. it feels really good i'm going to do it again i'm going to let down for you just to kind of go over how that feels but it is just a treat to draw this bow back so a nice easy draw i'm going to let it down not aggressive not aggressive at all again this is a 334 ibo bow so it's not like a hyper aggressive bow by any means but even with that 75 percent let off just lovely and buttery smooth that is a draw cycle i can shoot all day long 100 arrows no problem at all so as promised at the start of the video i also ran this through the chronograph i have the bow set up at 30 inches of draw length using the 75 percent let off mods and 70 pounds of draw weight on the button. I used a 350 grain arrow and I saw an average speed of 321 feet per second. I shot that a couple times with the exact same arrow and I got the exact same speed each time. That's about 13 under IBO. Uh, and with a heavier 430 grain arrow, I saw speeds of 292 feet per second uh, each time I give that a try. So that again, that for my purposes, that's plenty fast. Uh, that's more speed than I really need. Uh, if you want a little bit more speed, Hoyt's got faster bows than this. I just, I like the longer axle to axle and the draw cycle, as I mentioned earlier, is an absolute treat. This thing, a 75% let off hunting bow for me is normally a handful. Uh, I'm just not, I don't think strong enough and stable enough to normally handle that. 75% with this is fantastic. I'm probably going to move it to 80 just for overall comfort, but man, I, I was, I had no real problems with this at that let off at all. Um, speaking of that 80% let off, the draw length moved up maybe around 30 and a quarter inches for me in that setting, and maybe just on 30 on the button at 75. Uh, but again, I could play around with this. This has got quarter inch draw length adjustability, so you can really fine tune and tweak things however you want it to be. 
uh, and see what, you know, see what kind of speed numbers you can get for yourself. I think that's about all I got for now, Archery Talk. I will follow up with a long-term review as well as the hunting bow shootout with all the other bows I'm going to be getting this year. I think I'm going to be getting in six. Uh, so I will get as many videos done with these as I can. If you've got any suggestions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel an awful lot. And we'll see you again soon.